Place the record on the platter, ensuring that the hole in the record is placed onto the centre spindle of the turntable. Then turn the power to the on position. Then release the armrest that is holding the tone arm in place. And raise the cue lever. Then move the tone arm to the start of the record. Then carefully lower the cue lever to put the needle on the record. And depending on what record you have chosen, the drum beats may go like this. To pause the song, lift the cue lever. To resume play, lower the cue lever. To skip to the next song, lift the cue lever. Move the tone arm to the next song on the record and lower the cue lever. If you're not sure how to identify where the next track is on the record, please take a look at my other videos, specifically the one entitled How to identify where the next track is on a record. To find out what the next song is on your record, refer to the back of the record cover. And if you ever need to restore your record player back to factory settings, turn it off and then turn it back on again. And keep an eye out for my next tutorial entitled How to use the shuffle function on a record player.